Welcome to Church Media Production, I'm Andrew, and today we are going to go over how to add a YouTube and Facebook stream with Wirecast 11. So let's get started. So I'm currently running on Wirecast 11, which just came out the other day, but this should work for the future on any version of Wirecast, because I've been using it for a while now. So what you want to do is you go up to output, output settings, and because this setup has nothing currently configured, we'll have to go into the drop down. And I would set up Facebook Live using their preset setup. And what you have to do is you have to go in here, you have to authenticate with your username. And this will just ask you to sign in. So let me do that real quick. He'll have a little thing here for, is it okay if they post publicly? Which, if you're gonna be live streaming, you're gonna to have to be okay with that. There's groups that you can have it post to if you want, or you can just say not now and you can set it up later. And so here you'll have, you'll see up at the top, you can name it. So I would probably name it Facebook Live or something like that. And then you have your encoding. I would do at least the 720 at four megabytes. You can do less if your internet can't quite handle it, but the quality will be best if you can stay at four megabytes. You could do 1080p as well, but if you're gonna be doing YouTube and Facebook, it's gonna be hard for your internet to keep up. And so what you need to do is if you come down here, so you'll want it to post to probably a page, and not a group. So you'll wanna use this drop down and then choose the correct page that you want it to post. And then you can come in here, you can title it, add a description, and this will be the same for every single time. So it's not something that's gonna, like if you put in a date, it's not gonna dynamically change itself. So you'll, you'll wanna make sure you keep that updated or just use something generic. And then what you'll wanna do is come down here, you, want, you have to hit create, and then this will create a stream URL. So one thing I have noticed though, is that the Facebook stream will occasionally lose its URL because it's just not active for ever. So generally before each stream, I'll come in here, go to go into the settings and I'll hit create just so it generates a brand new URL every time. So that way you won't have any issues. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and say okay and then you should be good to go. The next thing is to get YouTube going, you'll have to do add and YouTube and Facebook are not, don't allow each other to stream at the same time. So you can't use just the straight YouTube preset so what you're going to have to do is go in here. So we'll go ahead and remove that. You'll, you'll have to set it up as a RTMP server. So you can say, okay, and then you can name it. You can do your destination will be to the server. Your encoding, I would set this to um, 720p yeah, right there, four megabytes. And if you want to, you can go ahead and make this a new preset and you can call it whatever you want. And you have all your settings here, but the defaults should be more than good enough for you. You just want to make sure that your bit rate is set to where it's set. But they do, if you come in here to encode presets, I have a YouTube live one preset already, but if you scroll down, there's all these different ones, and YouTube has their own specific quote recommended here. So if you're gonna do 720, you can choose whatever you want. But I would definitely make sure you're at at least four megabytes for your 720, just so it keeps, keeps it nice and crisp. And that way if it ends up dropping a little bit, you're still covered, because they recommend at least 3.8 megabytes. But if you're gonna use that, I would just change that to 4,000 and then you can save as a new preset. This is where it can get kind of confusing. So this is going to be found on your YouTube page and your stream is also going to be found on the YouTube page. So if you go to YouTube, so this will be your page where you can do all your general setups. You can add your, your title, description, you can schedule your screen, put your categories in. What you need is down here under encoder setup, there's a server URL, you have your RMTP server, and your stream name key. So the stream name key is the important one. You do not want to share that with anyone. Otherwise, anyone could then share to your, or stream to your YouTube page, which you don't want, I'm assuming. 
So you can go ahead and copy the URL. The URL will go into the address field here. And then your stream key will go into this my stream. So you'll just delete that and type in whatever your stream key is. And then down here, you'll see your location slash and then it'll put in your stream key. And then you can say, okay. And then all you have to do is you just hit stream and you're good to go. If there's ever an issue with one of the streams midstream, you can always come in here to output and there will be a, uh, so you have this start stop record broadcasting and you'll be able to select your Facebook or YouTube one and you can stop the one without interrupting the other one and then restart it again. And that has generally fixed any issues I've ever had. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe button followed by the little bell icon, and we will see you next time.